What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Legacy and we're back today with another tier list. This time we're doing Electric type Pokemon because I'm wearing my Team Instinct shirt so I felt it was a good time to do Electric. Now this tier list is going to be all the, basically my ranking of the po Electric Pokemon that are currently in Pokemon Go. So some of these Pokemon here are not going to be included on the list. Uh, we're going to go S, A, B, C, and D tier. Now normally I have to start it from S tier. Hmm, should we start from the bottom? I'm going to continue going from S tier to D tier. If you guys want me to do it differently, let me know. Maybe for the next one, I'll do it the, the other way around. So we've done so far four tier lists. We did Water, Dragon, Ghost is the fourth one. Each week, I'm going to try to make a different one. So let's start with the S tier. First up is... I actually made a change, so I'm glad that I'm doing the list. So first up, we're going to start with what I think is the top electric Pokemon in Pokemon Go currently, which is Mega Manectric. The Mega Boost is just so good. I, whenever I do those top 10 counters for each raid boss... The, the Mega uh, Boost is just too good. And Mega Manetric, even without the Mega Boost, is still one of the top electric attackers. So it's it's a, gr it's a great Pokemon. Definitely the best Pokemon electric Pokemon in the game currently. And next up, we're going to go with uh, Shadow Raikou. I've been saying this for a long time. Niantic, please. I think I said it in the last video. Niantic, bring back Sha uh, Raikou. I need to max out my Shadow Raikou to level 50. Where's Raikou at? Uh, where's Raiko? Here he is. Raiko is so good. I think Raiko was the first legendary raid I ever did. I think, yeah. Cause I I didn't play when like Lugia, Articuno, all them all them came. I actually came back and Raiko was the first legendary uh, raid I ever did. Okay, next up is uh, Shadow Electivire on the S tier. I love Shadow Electivire. One probably the the my favorite duo I ever did was with. I had uh, six level 40 Kaya, not Kyogre, six level 40 Electivires, and I duoed Kyogre with no weather boost. It, it was, like, very difficult back then. This was a long time ago. It was, like, 2018, I think, 2019, maybe. I have the video on my channel. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll post it somewhere. You guys will see it. But, the, like, the raid damage was much different back then. I don't think you could pull it off now. But, yeah, very probably my favorite uh, duo I've ever done. Okay, next up is Shadow Magnezone. Where's Shadow Magnezone? Shadow Magnezone is actually pretty good because the steel typing comes in handy in certain situations. I don't remember when. There was one time when uh, Shadow Magnezone was a top counter just because of the steel typing. So yeah, Shadow Magnezone uh, is up there. Same thing with this. We'll go with Zekrom. Zekrom's in the S tier. Where's Zekrom? Zekrom, same reason because it's, like let's say you're going up against a water type. Especially when you're going up against, like, for example, Kyogre, we would, uh, Zekrom was really good because it resists Thunder and it resists, uh, Hydro Pump. You just gotta be careful for a Blizzard, but outside of Blizzard, oh, that's where, that's where the Shadow Magnezone comes in. Shadow Magnezone, that's what I was thinking. Shadow Magnezone is good against Blizzard, but then Zekrom's really good against Hydro Pump and Thunder against Kyogre. So those are just some examples. And the last Pokemon, now this is a little different because this Pokemon technically isn't out in Pokemon Go, but it's coming out in a few weeks, so. I include it on the list, which is Circuitry. Where is it? Circuitry is pretty good. It's an S tier, and it doesn't even have its shadow form yet. But once it, uh, it's still going to be one of the top electrics, so can't wait to raid this thing when it comes out. I think next weekend for the GoFest fan. Is it next weekend? Yeah, it's next weekend. So, yeah, I decided to include it on the list. So, those are the six Pokemon in the S tier. Now we're moving on to A tier. Now, this, we're going to start with this Pokemon. I thought about putting this one in the S tier. It's pretty close. I actually only included the Therian form Thunderous on this. I didn't include the Incarnate. I just didn't feel like it. I don't think I did it for Giratina either in the Ghost video. But yeah, Therian Thunderous almost made. I think once it gets its Shadow version, which that'll happen maybe in like two years, it'll jump up to S tier. So let's wait for that Shadow to come out in 2025 or 2026. Dang, it takes so slow to roll out these Shadows. Like We, we just finally got Shadow Latios and Latios, and we still got to go through... Shadow Reggies, all three of the Reggies, and uh, who else? And we still need Ray Rayquaza, Kyogre, Groudon. So, yeah, we're not going to see this guy for a long time. Okay, let's go. Let's continue on the A tier. Mega Ampharos is definitely definitely A tier. Pretty close. To, I, you could argue you could put it in S tier, but I just felt Mega Manetric just outclasses it so much that it doesn't belong in the S tier. But it's pretty good, and I love its long hair, especially the shiny version. It's such a good looking Pokemon. It has fabulous long hair just like I do. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Uh, Shadow Manectric. 
This guy's actually pretty good. I, I want to make one just for unique challenges, but I'm just trying to save dust right now. So yeah, uh, Shadow, Manectric. Next up is Luxray. I'm surprised this one made it. It's just a decent Pokemon. Decent Electric, but it's pretty good uh, when you look at the numbers. Okay, and the next up, I don't even know. Where is this Pokemon? What does this Pokemon look like? I don't even know what it looks like. I think I have to Google it. I don't even know what this Pokemon looks like, but... I put it in the A tier. I think it's this thing. Vickable, I think it's this thing. Where's Vickable? Oh, so it evolves from this. Oh, I think this this thing's been spawning recently, hasn't it? In, in the bug event? Is it a bug type? Let's see. Yeah, okay, yeah, this, this thing's been spawning recently. I've caught a few of them. Because we're right now, we're in the middle of the bug event. Okay, so Vickavolt is in the A tier. Then maybe I need to start pineappling these things then. Okay, and we got one more for the A tier. It's Tapu Koko. I don't even know what moves Tapu Koko has, but it made the A tier. I actually have a hundo. I caught a hundo Tapu Koko in my live stream. I named it live stream. So yeah, Tapu Koko makes it, and that's it for the A tier. So we have six in S tier, six in A tier. And now we're moving on to the B tier. Okay. So we'll start off with Shadow Magnetone. Set Magnetone. Magnetone. Same reason with Magnetone, just a steel type. This is just decent Pokemon. Maybe I should make one. Who knows? And then same, uh, over here, Shadow Ampharos makes it to the B tier. And then one of my favorites, Jolteon. I love using Jolteon. I remember when I played Pokemon X and Y, I had Jolteon on my team. I loved using it. Because I didn't. I stopped playing Pokemon the Pokemon main series games. I skipped uh, Diamond and Pearl and Black and White. So I came back for X and Y and I had Jolteon on my team. Okay, next up is Alolan Golem. It's like a facial haired version of Golem. And then one more, Zebra, Zebra. This thing's good, but I've never I've never powered one up. I do have an Alolan Golem powered up and not a Zebra. And I think yeah, that's it for the B tier. Now we're moving on to C tier. There's only four Pokémon in C tier. So one of these is Electros. I don't even know if I ha I think I've seen these in the wild, but not often. And then Heliolisk, same thing with this thing. I think I've... I have caught a few of these, but I don't know where. I don't know if I got them from eggs. I don't remember. But it makes the C tier. Two more is Shadow Electrode. This thing's only on, the, on here because of the Shadow version. Like, if it didn't have a Shadow version... See, Shadows are just so, so good. Like, imagine if Shadow Golem and Shadow Jolteon ja Shadow Zebra were out... These three, you could argue, would jump up to A tier. Same thing with Shadow Luxray. Shadows are just so powerful. Okay, and then one last Pokemon for the C tier is Raichu. I actually have a level 50 Lucky Witch Hat Raichu. Hundo. Hundo. I use it in uh, PvP sometimes in the Ultra League just for fun. It, it, uh, all, it barely max, it maxes like a 24, close to 2500. It's fun using it. All right. Now we're going to go finish this off. It, the, the D tier was kind of weird because a lot of these Pokemon are PvP Pokemon. Like the first one is Galvantula. I hate running into this thing. It's just annoying because of the, the bug and electric typing. It's always annoying to go up against this in the Great League. Same thing with this next one is Lantern. I actually used one. I went to... Uh, I made a Lantern because I went to a PvP tournament when PvP first came out. This is before even Go Battle League. I remember I made a Lantern. I liked using it. It was pretty fun. And then only Plusle made it, not Minun. Plusle made it in the D tier. Okay, we got two more. Regular Stunfisk. Another great league Pokemon. And last but not least, this Pokemon barely made it. So the way I make this list is I go, this is how I make the tier list. I go to like Pokeballer, Pokeballer, and I look, I looked at Gyarados, and I just was like looking what, since Gyarados is double weak to electric, I was making the list, so I looked at what the top counters were for Gyarados. And this Pokemon somehow squeaked into the list. And people in my Discord all love making fun of me about this Pokemon. It's Emolga. I don't know how this Emolga joke started. People just love sending me Emolga gifts. And it's a cute looking Pokemon, but I guess it's better as an electric type attacker. And I've actually bumped into it in, in GBL. It's pretty annoying to go up against in GBL. So yeah, there you have it. Shout out to my mods, Ashley, Frosty, Waffle, always trolling me with a Molga, Luna girl. <laughs> That's the list of our electric types. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like I said, I'm going to keep making these lists. 
I don't know what's next. I'm, I'm trying to make it every week. Last week I had so many videos, so I didn't really have time to make it, but this is electric. We'll see what we do next week. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see all of you next time. Bye.